Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. Many communities and states have pledged to reach 100% renewable energy production, but lack of storage for wind and solar power is holding everyone back. In California alone, 500,000 megawatt hours of energy will be wasted. Lindsey Goral and Tom DeRosa from Core Power are here to talk about how their company's Enter Storage Solutions can solve this problem for good. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Now, Lindsey, how does Core Power support renewable energy systems? Well, Core Power and it's uh, our Mark I, which has basically been designed to optimize renewable energy. So what it does is, whether it's solar or wind, it it basically it's producing electricity. The problem is when it produces the electricity, you have to use it. So we can actually store that electricity, store it, use it for a future point in time when the grid needs it. On top of that, not, not just renewable, but when you talk about your traditional, when you're talking about traditional generation of energy or electricity from the messy energy, whether it's fossil fuels, etc., we can also be integrated into that and reduce or replace that. So Lindsay, how much energy is lost due to inadequate storage? That's a great question. Uh, it's hundreds of gigawatts of energy that the renewable systems out there to produce, but it's not being produced at the right time. So to give you an example, one gigawatt of energy can run 33,000 houses per day. Okay? Think of the hundreds that aren't being consumed. So you, you kind of look at it, you look at the billions of dollars that are being, have been spent on renewable energy, which is fantastic, but now we've got to take that renewable energy and use it 100% of the time. And the only way you can do that is to put storage next to it. So you kind, of look at, you kind of look at some of the natural disasters, right? Look at the thing with New Orleans and the hurricanes. You know, they're out of power for months, you know? You can bring in storage on the back of a truck, hook it back up, and actually start, start the grid back up again, you know? You know, if you, you kind of look at, you don't want to push to what's happening in California, but if this renewable energy had backup, you, you could still run the grid. Right. You know? You're finally getting to a point where if you can harness 100% of the renewable energy, then you can run anything at any time of the day. And on top of that, your cost to the consumer goes back down because as you know, a lot of people are looking at all the renewable energy, but my electric, electrical bill is still high. Why is that? Because you're not harnessing 100% of the energy. And the Mark One can do that. That is so exciting, wow. The future of energy is renewable. In the United States, six cities have already reached the goal of generating 100% of their electricity from non-polluting renewable sources, and many more communities have pledged to follow their lead. But the path isn't easy, due in large part to lack of efficient storage for renewable energy. The sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow. The world needs ways to bank renewable energy for later, to make the most of green energy. Core Power is dedicated to developing cutting-edge batteries to store and deliver it when it's needed, making renewable energy more flexible and effective than ever before. What's happening in the energy industry right now and what makes Core Power unique is the amazing growth in energy storage. Core Power is focused only on the large-scale grid-tied energy storage systems. And what we're seeing now are all sorts of different kinds of opportunities from power plants, to island grids, to mining, to backup power. There's no end in sight for the opportunities for core power. We're going after projects large and small, from backup power in Africa to mining customers in, in Canada, large-scale power plants in California, and basically right now the growth is in the United States. Lithium-ion batteries are good for storage because uh, they have very high efficiency, long life, and due to the advancement of electrical vehicles, uh, any storage has benefit from uh, increased uh, energy density, uh, safety advances, and the decreased cost. We are vulnerable um, to the supply chain constraints uh, due to the growth in the lithium-ion batteries applications in the market. Um, there will be fluctuations uh, in parts of the supply chain uh, as the energy storage and the electric vehicle markets continue to grow. However, Core Power has access to a fully integrated supply chain from mining of the raw materials to the manufacturing of the finished product. Uh, Core Power will always have access to our needed products. 
Some of the innovations that elevates Mark 1 from other options include we have a simple and efficient design that shows state of charge, the state of health, the current and the temperature of the modules. The modules are designed ergonomically to ease technician flow installation. I believe that Core Power has the ability to attract strong team members because when experts around the industry hear about what Core Power is doing and how well thought out our plan is, they can't help but want to be a part of our team. Core Power is making large strides in changing our world for the better, and that will always attract the best people. Tom, can you tell us about Core Power's newest battery? Well, sure. Our Mark I represents the absolute latest advancements in lithium ion technologies and chemistries. It's the result of an initial investment of $130 million into the technology and the safety advancements of our product. Uh, it is also one of the most dense batteries on the market, uh, which is incredibly important because often on an energy storage project, space and land is often at a premium. So having that high density uh, becomes quite valuable. And in addition to our density, our Mark I is able to operate at 1500 volts. Basically what that means is with our density and our high voltage, it translates into being one of the most cost-effective battery storage solutions in the market. Excellent, and can you give us a breakdown of the different products within the Mark I system? Sure, well the basic building block of our Mark I is the lithium ion cell. And it's essentially about a foot long aluminized pouch, a thin one. So what we do is we take 32 of those and stack them into our Mark I module, which is on the screen now. Uh, and then those modules are designed to slide into a seven foot tall server rack, which is what's on the screen at the moment. So what we do is we take 17 of those modules and we slide them into the, into the rack and we put a control system on top and then we finish it off with a battery management system software. And Lindsay, what are the key advantages of the Mark I? If you look at the technology that's been driven the lithium ion battery space, it's been electric vehicles. So everything's been electric vehicle related. So we basically took the chemistry of an electric vehicle battery and looked at how do we package safely as much energy in a cubic foot as you possibly can. And so all the focus has been on, on the cell, which you see there again there. And from the cell, you go to the module. And our module has basically seven unique features that no one else has. And that comes down to whether it's heat dissipation, whether it's safety, whether it's ease of use, and also the little digital reader on the front of the module, we're the only one that has that. So you can actually, when someone is installing our module, you can see if it's working or not working. You come into a room with 10,000 of these, you can tell if it's working or not working. Excellent. And Tom, how do you scale up the Mark I system for large operations? It's actually pretty easy. So while the cell is the building block of our Mark I system, our Mark I rack is the building block of a large scale energy storage project. So it's really a matter of just adding more racks into the equation. And we would arrange those in either a building that is purpose built to house the energy storage portion of a project. But what's typically more common is to arrange our racks in what we call a containerized solution, uh, which is a 40 foot long container that aesthetically looks very much like the back of a tractor trailer or an 18 wheeler. Uh, uh, and then what we do is we just simply add more racks or more buildings or even more containers. And the end result uh, would very much look like on a, on a medium sized project, um, let's say maybe half of a football field with a couple dozen of these containers on site. And each of those containers can deliver uh, four megawatt hours worth of energy, which is enough to power a home for about five months. So we can scale that up to megawatt hours or even a gigawatt hour range to even power a small city or town for several hours. That's incredible. Wow. Uh, and Lindsay, can you tell us a bit more about your batteries for electric vehicles? Sure, we actually produce the cell for electric vehicles. Um, we, we're, uh, Core Power is focused 100% on this business on energy storage, but the, the two cells that we do produce can be used in electric vehicles. And when we say electric vehicles, we're talking electric boats, four by fours, underground mining equipment, EVs. So we have the ability to work with partners that are in that space that want to, that want to use our cell. Because we're one of the, there's only so many, there's only a handful of cell producers in the world, and we're one of them. Core Power was founded in 2018 and is rapidly expanding to meet high demand for renewable energy sources. The company is headquartered in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and has satellite offices in Canada and India. To meet global demand for renewable energy, Core Power is breaking ground on a new factory in the U.S. that will be one of the largest battery manufacturing facilities in the world, producing up to 10 gigawatt hours per year. The new facility will employ 2,000 skilled workers, 
and help communities across the country meet their renewable energy goals. The world market demand is booming, and the United States is one of the leading markets in that demand growth. So we see the demand in the United States and North America moving us down the path to build a manufacturing plant to look after that demand. On top of that, we create thousands of jobs in the United States and decrease our dependency on fossil fuels. In addition uh, to over $135 million uh, we have invested in developing our batteries, we're working with people like Dr. Chris Burns and Novalix to develop new chemistries and manufacturing techniques um, to ensure that we stay on the leading edge of battery technologies. The challenges and benefits of building a brand like Core Power is that energy storage at this scale has only been economically viable for the last couple of years. It can be difficult helping people to understand that this type of energy storage isn't a future fantasy, it's practical reality today. With that said, being at the forefront of this industry allows us to participate in developing the future of where energy storage will go from here. The energy storage market needs a company like Core Power because the demand for reliable and cost-effective energy storage is growing faster than current plant production. Core Power can help fill the growing demand with an energy storage system that's capable of making broad acceptance of clean, renewable energy a reality. The change has been about system deployed on the field. Back in 2014, 2015, when I started working in energy storage field, systems deployed were range from 500 kilowatt to one megawatt hours were considered to be big. Now projects are being deployed ranging from five megawatt to 1,000 megawatt hours. These projects will continue to grow as the price of lithium-ion batteries drops down. With 280 patents for design innovations and unparalleled expertise in energy storage technology, Core Power is poised to transform renewable energy into the standard source of power for people everywhere. So Tom, how does Core Power make sure lithium batteries are safe? Well, safety is paramount. So uh, one of the benefits that we have is working with our manufacturing partner, a company in China called Dofluoride Chemicals. Uh, they're also a shareholder of our company. So we have the luxury of them having had built over six million cells over the last seven years with an impeccable safety record. Uh, in addition to that, uh, DFD also owns the supply chain. So the raw materials that go, uh, the inputs that go into our cells, they own that. So we have incredible visibility into the quality control of that supply chain. Uh, we also have a battery management system software that uh, analyzes and monitors the batteries in real time on the entire project. And sometimes that could be millions of cells that are being monitored in real time. We run our products through rigorous safety tests at our factory. Uh, but we also go through uh, certification processes with bodies such as UL. And lastly, we don't just stop there, we go with third-party testing. So we work with one of the best and, and most respected battery testing facilities in the world, a company called Novonics. So we send ourselves there to do further testing and analysis. Excellent, great. And Lindsay, can you talk about Core Power's focus on research and development? Sure. Um, yeah, so research and development is obviously key, as, as Tom just talked about. I mean, we have, we have 500 engineers and technicians in our, in our, in our office in China. Um, we also have engineers in Canada and United States. And the whole focus is to look at the next generation. So as Tom talked about the safety, the energy density, that's critical. But we're also looking at what is the next chemical makeup? How do we get, how do we get more energy into smaller footprint at lower costs, right? And keep it safe. Because obviously the biggest issue is a footprint. As you know, obviously the smaller the footprint, the cheaper the cost. And, and, and we're looking out year one, year three, year five on that. So. Right. And how will you bring all of this technology to the United States? Tom, can you talk about your plans for a new factory? Sure. Well, starting in a couple months, we will start shipping from our factory in China from our partner DFD. Uh, but we are environmentally conscious at Core Power, but we're also economically conscious. And we feel very strongly about bringing American manufacturing jobs back. So to that end, we are going to be building a 10 gigawatt hour factory, which will make it one of the largest battery manufacturing facilities in the world, based here in the US, and it will employ thousands of Americans. 
Uh, so right now, we've basically narrowed our site selection down to a handful of states. Uh, we were looking at uh, various aspects such as logistics and labor force and incentives on the state level. And uh, ultimately, we will be building the factory here and it will help us further enhance our ability to deliver products uh, to projects on a timely manner. Wow, congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. And Lindsay, what are Core Power's goals for the future? Well, I think as Core Power is 100% focused on energy storage, we, we want to be the number one energy storage company in the world. That's our focus. And that's all we're going to do. You know, and I think, and, and really for me personally, I think for our whole team, um, you know, people talk about, you know, zero emissions and, and let's make the world greener, which is, which I agree 100% with, but how do you get there? You need to store the energy. So we're, we're just so excited to be a piece of that puzzle, an important piece of the puzzle that we can look out in five years or 10 years and say, my emissions have gone down, you know, we're, everything's green, you know, I, it excites us. That's, that's, so that's, a, that's one of the driving forces to be finally, after talking about it for all these years, to, to maybe we're the missing link of the entire piece that makes it happen. Tom, what is most meaningful to you about this work? Uh, you know, I am an advocate for uh, climate change and sustainability, so it, it's actually one of the reasons why I joined this company. Uh, the ability for our product to uh, really be able to displace some of the dirty fuels out there, like gas peaker plants, uh, for me, that really excites me. Wow, and how about you, Lindsay? This industry excites me, and just being a part of making the world better, I mean, really, and bringing sustainable power with no emissions to the entire world. That's exciting. Wow. Well, Lindsay and Tom, thank you both for sharing your insight about how innovations in battery storage can make the dream of 100% renewable energy a reality. Congratulations and thank you. Thank Excellent. you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.